Either way. All right, let's close out the show with this, and we're going to talk about uh, a guy that, that we grew to respect when he was a player here. Vince Carter officially retires. Uh, he played 22 years in the NBA. He was drafted when he was 21. That's uh, more than half of his life was spent playing in the league. That's right. Now, and I have never seen a guy, you know, he was drafted in 1998, so he played in a lot of different decades uh, <laughs> against a lot of different people. He made eight all-star teams. He was known as a dunker, right? Like, I think he probably has the most vicious dunk that was ever caught on camera in the, what was it, 2000? Um, was it the 2000 Olympics? I think it was the 2000 Olympics. I think it was. I mean, maybe it was 04. Tyrone Davis jumps in on Facebook, said, what's up? You caught the uh, the end of the show here, brother. Um, the yeah. most vicious dunk. He, he jumped over a seven-footer and just demolished the guy. And it was... Epic. He won the 2000 dunk contest. He was known as just an athletic freak. Is he the last superstar to win that? No, they've had, like, uh, Dwight well, Howard. Dwight Howard after. came after him, and okay, all right, okay. They, they've had some other ones here and there. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that's that's back when the dunk contest mattered. But that's, that's right. the thing. He was around when the dunk contest mattered. Like, that's, that's right. <laughs> he's old. Yeah, he's insane. old. Uh, but, hey, so I'm that's what I was going to talk about, right? Gonna, I think he's going to be coaching somewhere soon, too. Soon, hey, I, maybe take a couple of years off because I think he does broadcasting first. Basketball. I think he does broadcasting first. You think he does broadcasting over coaching? Oh yeah, because he's already been doing broadcasting. Like he he yeah, but he jumps on randomly when he's out injured or whatever, and the teams I, give him I permission. Get that, but that's because you can't you don't have a coaching job. I think he wants to coach, man. I, maybe I'm wrong. I, I look, I don't know anything other than following him on on social media and watching him. But like those years that he was with the Grizzlies. The back end of his career, oh, yeah. where he he was just not much of a player. That dude was coaching up those young men more than half the assistant coaches out there. Oh, absolutely. Okay. He absolutely. had a bigger voice than most of the assistant coaches. He worked with those kids that were real young and, and inexperienced, and and I saw a passion and a love for it. Now, broadcasting is going to pay him a lot more, and it's a whole lot better job. You show up a couple of nights a week, you talk. And you go home. And coaching is a grind. And we are seeing some guys get into it and don't want to do that grind. Um, but I think he would be a damn I good. I think he'd be really good. Yeah. I think he would be really good. If I was a team, I would try very hard to keep him from broadcasting and get him to coach. Yeah, come in as an assistant right off the bat. and Right and off the coaching. bat, immediately. Yeah. Get him on the bench. Matt Miller and, said, I just found out that he was the last player playing that was on the Nintendo 64, and he played longer than most of his teammates were actually alive, especially with the Hawks. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, Damian Estrada said, Vince Carter's the real Superman, not Dwight. And Tyrone said, I just woke up. Sorry. <laughs> hey, you're all no, good, no, man. No apology necessary. Yeah, you're all good, man. It's a hey, download the podcast. Leave a nice review. Yeah. You know how it goes. Damian yeah. said, Carter going to coach one of the Ice Cube Big Three teams. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I wanted to coach a real team. I think Come back to Memphis. We'll hire you. We need a coach. Hey, I know we don't. We, coach no, no, no. we, we got a good coach, man. Taylor he's Jenkins. I know he's doing fine. I'd rather have Vince. Hey, I'd, I'd take Vince to uh, to replace um, uh, Noel Ivy, who just took over as sure. Notre Dame's women's head coach. So yeah. sounds sounds perfect. We got a we got a spot. So let's do it. There ben, we go. Got a spot right there for you. Ben said, for the year he was on the Kings, he definitely did a lot of coaching for Fox, Heald, et cetera. Yes, 100%. So that's well, he, that's one of the things I was going to talk about was I have never seen a player that was able to successfully completely transition his game once his athletic ability left, right? He was yes. always the explosive guy. When he went to the Mavericks and then to the Grizzlies, he was a three-point assassin. Like, that's this right. guy could hit everything. He taught himself how to shoot better from outside he, he so saw that he would be effective. Involved, and yes. he had to evolve with it. Yeah, and he was fantastic. There is not a better guy in the NBA, nope. I guarantee it. His uh, nope. his podcast, Winging It, is fantastic. It's a really yeah. good listen for anybody that that's wants right. to go out and hear about NBA stuff. So, uh, he is he's great. Ben said, also, I've got an Idaho Vandals hat uh, on R, and they play in a collapsed silo. I had no idea, but that is fantastic. What is a collapsed silo? Like on, a, how do you play in something that's collapsed? I have no well, I'm sure that they probably Damn fixed sense. it. But uh <laughs> Damien said I would take Vince Carter over Boylan, damn it. Yeah, yeah, I'd 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 buy that. I think a lot of people take Vince Carter over a lot of the coaches that they got right now. Like yeah, he's definitely more personable than a lot he's, of the ones that are out there. He's gonna 
you're right. He's really personable and he's really enjoyable to listen to. He he's very good broadcaster, but I don't want him to do that. I I want him to coach. I want to see him on the bench. I want to see him on a team. That's eight. Matt Miller said he is sixth all time in three pointers. Crazy. That's yeah. insane because he didn't even start shooting them until late in his career. Oh yeah. Uh, ben said it's an ugly dome. <laughs> That sounds about right. A collapsed silo, man. I'm good with it. So we've learned a lot about the Idaho Vandals today. Good gracious. <laughs> uh, Tyrone said it's a potato silo. See, how do all these people know about Idaho, man? What is this? Like, <laughs> I'm surprised. I got family that's in, in Boise right now, and I I don't know anything about this. We have good families gracious. that pulling their weight. Now, you got that right. My well, chicken I mean, family pulling... pulled their weight today. Uh, you got that right. Good gracious. I had no idea about owls killing chickens. That's the craziest oh. shit I ever heard. Owls are messing up. Learn about owls. <laughs> I have a completely... F... I'm, I'm not going to get into this. I believe <laughs> I can stop school shootings. What? What? I believe I can stop them. Does this have stop to do em. with owls? Stop them. Okay, hold on. I'm going to write this down for Monday. We might leave the show on Monday with this. So, uh... Chris can stop school shootings. All right. All right. We're writing that down for Monday. We're, we're going to start with that on Monday. Um, okay. That. <laughs> Tyrone said, I live 30 minutes away from Idaho. There you go. Uh, Matt Miller said, ever seen a praying mantis kill a hummingbird? Yep. I have yep. seen the YouTube videos. Yep. Praying uh, mantises are bad mamma jammas. Yeah. They, well, I mean, we, that's how the murder hornet thing kind of went away, right? We saw that that's they right. was. Praying mantises can like, yeah. We were like, like, oh, they're really not that bad. Yeah, like, it's yeah. Not. And and for some reason, we're not worried about praying mantises. If they were bigger, if they were bigger, they would be just the most dangerous thing that's ever walked the earth. Them and owls. Them and owls. I love it. They uh, would team up. We're effed. Damian Estrada jumps in. Said Vince Carter's better than Burt Brown, and uh, and then Ben said in Rome. Oh, I saw a seagull kill a pigeon once in Rome. Man, you ever seen that? Nope. Oh, Matt said we have a treaty with the Manus people. <laughs> Man, you guys have been good today. All right, it's Friday. I got to get out of here. I got stuff I got to finish. You guys have been fantastic. As always, the guys in the chat, we appreciate you. Thank you for jumping in. Thank you for helping drive the show. I promise it would not be nearly as entertaining without you guys involved. So do us a favor, go over to the podcast and make sure that you leave a nice review. Make sure you are subscribed. Share the show out with your friends, all that wonderful stuff. Go check out the website. The new layout is up. We got some new posts up, all that kind of stuff. Go check it out. Let me know what you think. You can leave a comment right there on the site or you can hit us up on Twitter, etc. Whatever your favorite social media platform is, hit us up. Let us know. Damien closes us out today and says, Jay Cutler is an alien. I might believe that. It is what it is. You guys, take care of each other. Take care of yourself. We'll see you on Monday. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com, or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.